Hi guys, it's Lanikia, and I'm coming to you with a work from home video. Um, sorry this didn't come out yesterday, but on holidays, I probably will not be dropping. Um, so if it's a Monday, well, I drop on Mondays and most holidays, you know, land on Mondays. So if it's a holiday, um, Monday, expect this video to come out on Tuesday. So this, I want to thank everyone who um, subscribes to the channel. I want to thank everyone who um, is you know, a new subscriber and everyone who might not subscribe, but you drop in and see a channel or two. My eyelashes coming out, but that's okay. We'll work with it. Um, anyways, I have a work from home job for you and this one is for enterprise. So what they're doing is, um, they're hiring for agents in different areas, remote agents, work from home agents in different areas. The only catch to this, y'all know there's always a catch with me recommending jobs lately. The only catch to this is that when you go through the list of jobs, you have to be in that area or in the surrounding area of that. So what you got what you're gonna do is go to the work from home and look for something that surrounds your area. Um, I'm in Texas, so I selected like the Texas area um, to see if you know to see what they were offering there. So let's just get into this job. It is working for enterprise. I don't know their pay, like I don't know if they pay um, weekly, month, monthly, hourly. I don't know how they exactly they do it how exactly they do this but they do pay $13 per hour they are um they expect you to work um okay so they pay $13 an hour but you can make commission because of course it's enterprise you will be taking inbound calls so um you'll be converting those customers who might have questions or anything trying to make those sales calls um so for the schedule, it looks like they're going to be pretty strict on the schedule. So they're saying that you should be available to work anytime between um, 11 a.m. to 1, 10, excuse me, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Central. The start times vary. So they're saying we call, they shut down at 10 p.m. Central. But however, the start times can be anywhere between 11 and 1.30 Central. So it just depends on what you're what you're going to be doing um what what shifts you get i guess now they do say you are required to work weekends the shifts do not rotate so whatever your shift is that is your shift once you get into training and you complete training don't try to renegotiate the shift is what they're pretty much saying that is your shift now you can read all this on your own but i'm just you know paraphrasing all of this for you um from what they're saying that they, now they do require you to work 40 hours so if you're looking for part-time this is not the job for you but if you're looking for like um y'all know i always bring up texas like our minimum wage y'all know by now is like 725 something like that i don't know what it is really but it's seven something so making 13 dollars an hour if you're going to a job um, where you're making seven something an hour or sometimes companies try to pay you eight so they can be like well we're paying more than minimum wage if you're making eight or something this is not a bad job if you're gonna pay if you're gonna um, be at $14 now it, it depends on if it's in your area because they might not even offer this in your area so go to the website and check um, and I'm not gonna read it all off because um, be, just because of that I'm not gonna read it off by states so I'm gonna let you go in and check to see if it's in your specific um, city or whatnot but um it's not a bad job but anyways getting back my train of thought y'all sorry but getting back to that it's not a bad job to have like if thirteen dollars an hour is nothing to sneeze at um for working being able to work from home especially if you're if you're going to a job and you're making eight dollars nine dollars an hour and you're physically going to a job you can be at home and make that so there's nothing to sneeze at anyways um yeah so after trying like so but Go in there knowing the shift that you want to work because it looks like they're not negotiating with you. Like they're telling you, um, you know, once you have your, I guess, have your interview and everything, they're telling you, okay, this is the shift. And, you know, that's pretty much it. And that's, that's usually how it always ends up being. So what they want you to do is schedule requirements. Okay, we already read that out. Responsibility. So you'll be taking 80 to 100 incoming calls per day and talk with potential customers across multiple states and time zones so i guess you're working i mean you're working 40 hours you're probably working eight hours a day um if unless they have you working multiple you know more than five days um and then on top of that <laughs> and then on top of that um they want you to make, be courteous of course pleasant um demeanor when speaking with the customers um strive to exceed sales targets 
Um, did I tell y'all y'all could make commission? If I didn't, let me go back up. I can't remember. Um, the commission can be up to 250 a month is what most agents average. The top agents average about 800 in commission a month. Um, so they want you to be, you know, multitask, be sales driven. Because it is, I mean, it's incoming calls, but you're going to try to convert them to sales. Follow sales techniques, um, which I'm sure they'll probably teach you in training. Adapt to the needs of the individual callers. You know, y'all know all this. Like, most of y'all have worked from home. If you haven't worked from home before or you haven't done sales or call center work, hard sales or anything like that, um, let me know. Let me know. Um, anyways, uh, accept rip. Uh, repetitive work tasks so that means you're gonna be doing the same thing over and over again and perform uh, miscellaneous job related duties as a sign anyways y'all know how that goes if you've done that before it's just um they want you to they want you to make sales they want you to convert they don't want you to have a customer call in and it'd be like okay that's it and hang up no they want you to convert these things qualifications must currently live in the state of Texas okay so this is what I'm saying when I say you need to find out if it's in your city or the surrounding areas because the one I clicked on is for Plano Texas so it says must currently live in Plano Texas or the immediate surrounding areas well I'm not in that area so I would go back and I would look to see if they had something closer to where I am they they want one year sales experience in a performance slash commission based or metric driven um, environment minimum of six months customer sale service experience call center experience preferred work related experience working on a personal computer navigating through multiple computer systems and screens which most of us who've worked from home have done that um, even if you worked at a call center anything like that you've probably already done that permanent residence with a defined working space that is clean ventilated quiet and free of distractions ability to participate and complete mandatory training for three weeks monday through friday from 9 to 5 30 central time ability to complete i9 work authorization paperwork in person now i mean i'm sure it might say something else if you're in eastern time i'm just giving you central time because that's what it's saying because i selected plano texas and we're in central time in texas ability to complete i9 work authorization paperwork in person um ooh, so that's why you probably have to be in that surrounding area must be willing to work a full-time schedule 40 hours with start times between 11 um to well, i already told you that um including ooh, including both weekend days saturday and sunday must be willing to accept a non-negotiable starting pay of 13 dollars an hour must be authorized to work in the united states must be 18 years or older um so you have to have a, comp uh, a computer no max with compatible OS versions, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or Windows 10. Must have a computer USB headset with microphone. Y'all know I have the Jabra. People ask me that all the time. I use the, um, I don't have it with me, but I use the Jabra headset. Um, must have a separate modem. Must have a router with gigabyte, gigabit speed connection with via Ethernet cable. Um, must have high-speed internet access provided by a cable or fiber provider no dsl satellite or wireless <laughs> maximum upload speeds of 2 mbps minimum download speeds of 5 mbps use of wireless and wi-fi air card is prohibited um uh, so you must have all technical qualifications at the time of application <sighs> so qualified applicants must be candidates must also possess um exceptional communication knowledge and understanding of companies strong sense of initiative um comfortable working independent or in a team ability to exist sound exercise sound judgment problem solving skills um okay so you will be shipped a headset and key fob to address provided on your application equipment may arrive separately so whatever address you're using on the application please be sure that that is the address you will be able to receive your mail and every like be sure that's the same address please be sure to verify that your mailing address in our system is an address where you can receive equipment ensuring that you are not there are not delays in receiving your equipment make sure you, you add the apartment mail if any p.o boxes are not supported and we must have a physical address for you to receive your equipment so yep yeah, that's the enterprise job y'all best of luck on that one that actually sounds like a good one and i 
I haven't applied for this one. Um, cause I haven't even looked to see if like I could apply for it. Cause they might not even be like in an area that I can apply for it on um, with what, but, um, I'm sure there's probably an assessment or something you have to do. Like most of these jobs have some type of an assessment, um, that you have to do. But if you've worked for enterprise or if you're thinking and you go through it, no, I'm not going to enter my email address. I hate doing all these. Like, I don't mind applying for these jobs. But what I know I'm not going to really be trying, I hate doing it because y'all know they, even bar they bombard you with emails and stuff um, and all of that. So, anyways, best of luck, you guys. I hope you um, enjoyed the video. Let me know if you apply for the job or not. Let me know if you're getting the jobs. Um, if you don't have sales experience um, or, you know, or anything like that. Um, drop, drop me a comment and let me know. Um, cause I'm thinking about doing something. Um, cause as y'all know, I was in sales for, um, well, I'm still in sales, but for many years. So I'm thinking about doing something online, um, where, where, you know, it's just not teaching sales, but more like helping with sales, um, like helping you gain sales experience um especially like for hard sales i'm thinking about teaching um something um like that not just like once a month like not once a month but like a one-time thing and not you know of course it's free because it's gonna be on the line i'm gonna i get paid through youtube so i never would charge for like anything extra that i do just because of just because of that you know, like i get paid through the ads and all that so yeah, so let me know what you think um, if you get this far to the video. Because some of y'all see the, you hear the first part and then y'all click off the video. But hey, I got, I still got, I got a view. I got a, um, you watch the beginning of the ad, so I'm cool. But um, anyways, let me know what you think. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Remember, stay positive. Positive attitudes bring positive results. Um, speaking things into existence. Law of attraction, however you want to want to call it but um stay positive um happy working